Good day everyone, welcome back to Medic Smike YouTube channel. So today we are going to be talking about the nomenclature of organic compounds. Before we dig deep into our topic for today, please if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe, like, share, comment, it really means a lot to me. Thank you. Back to our topic today, we will talk about the systems of naming organic compounds. And this system includes our trivia name, our derived name and our IUPAC name. Our major focus today will be on our IUPAC system. But first, let's talk a little about our trivia names. Our trivia names are names that follow no strict pattern. They are actually names that refers to source, origin or special characteristics of a compound. Now we are going to be looking at a few examples of trivia names here. So number one, we have our n-pentane, and this is actually the condensed representation of n-pentane, and it has five carbon atom and twelve hydrogen atom. Its representation of the molecular formula is CnH2n plus two. We we'll get to know more about that about arcanes. So, the number two representation of trivial names is our isopentane. This is the isopentane over here, and it is an isomer of pentane. If we are looking at it in the aspect of our IUPAC nomenclature, we'll get there. So, for our third, we have our neopentane, which has a central carbon atom here with an alkyl group, which is the methyl group added to the four carbon bond in that central carbon. These are the respective examples we have when talking about trivial names in the groups of arcanes. So it's either it is N arcane, it is iso arcane, or it is neo arcane, depending on how the structure looks like. So other examples of trivial name is the ethylene, which is CH2 double bond CH2, we have the acetyl, which can also be called your ethyne. We have formic acid, oxalic acid, phenol, and chlorophyll. So you can just take a moment, pause the video, and get to assimilate these stuffs better. Alright, so we are going to be talking about the IUPAC system now. Now, the IUPAC system is a system that tells us about how to properly name organic compounds following some set of strict rules that require us to know the root names, their suffix and their prefix. Now over here we have the root names of some organic compounds ranging from carbon 1 to carbon 40 and 60. So you can just, for the meantime, learn from carbon 1 to carbon 15 for starters. So you can easily use it to name organic compounds. Now over here, you have the functional groups that you'll be using and their prefix and suffix. You can also pause the video for a while and write this stuff down. To help you assimilate and remember them better. So next, we are going to be looking at the representation of organic compounds. Now, organic compounds can be represented in three forms, which is the 3D or you call it three-dimensional representation. We have the condensed structure, we have the line or we call it skeletal structure. Now, this is our 3D representation. This over here is what we call it our 3D representation and this is our condensed structure representation where we just have to combine them or turn them into methyl groups or CH2 groups and add them together to sum up that particular organic compound we are trying to represent. Why the skeletal system is just a combination of line and at the point whereby these lines are conjoined or are joined together we have carbon atom there. So for this being Butane. This is the condensed structure of butane, and 
this is the skeletal structure where we have a atom over here we have a carbon atom over here too carbon atom over here and a carbon atom over here so it is just like the same four carbon atoms that we have over this place so hope we understand what we mean by our 3d representation condensed structure and line and skeletal system leave your contributions in the comment section let's continue guys so we are going to start off by naming arcane compounds and these are the rules we are going to be using we are going to be looking for the longest continuous carbon atom or longest continuous carbon chain thus as the parent chain then we are going to number this carbon atom then we would obey alphabetical orders when we are naming the subsequent and also when the functional group is present we will allocate the least possible number to the carbon there in the functional group now what we are going to do next is we are going to first of all start off with a simple example so we have an organic compound over here and we ask to give a name an artifact name to this organic compound now first of all what we are going to do is that we are going to identify the longest continuous carbon atom so if we are starting from this carbon here or we are saying it should go like this sorry if we say it should go like this that would be wrong because we are having three carbon atoms like this one two three so obviously obviously we are going to have our longest chain as one two three four so our longest parent chain over here would be four so this is our four longest parent chain over here and when it is four it is called protein when it is four it is called protein and next we are going to do is to number the carbon atom in this main chain so we are going to number the carbon atom in this our main chain so this will be carbon one this will be carbon two this will be carbon three this will be carbon four so next our routine say we should give the lowest number to our subsequent branch so here we are having carbon uh two we are having a branch there which is our methyl group is attached to carbon 2 and bromine is attached to carbon 3 so what we are going to do next is that we are going to write out our longest continuous chain and our various substituent branch out so our parent chain is boot and boot simply means four carbon atom so since it is a single bond that's attached to this different carbon atom it is called butane because it is an arcane group and if it was double bond to be an arcane group if it was triple bond it would be an arcane group so talking about our branch chain we are having two metal this is the metal group over here ch3 and a metal group is a group that has a functional or rather molecular formula as CnH2n plus 1 so it is one carbon one hydrogen atom lesser than our arcane group so if we are having methane as CH4 we'll be having our metal as CH3 so we have metal attached to carbon 2 so it will be 2 metal here we have bromine attached to carbon 3 so it will be 3 bromo also all halogens are named in this format if it was fluorine it will be fluoro if it was chlorine it will be chloro if it was iodine it will be iodo so the nomenclature the IUPAC nomenclature for this compound is 3 bromo 2 methyl protein so you might be wondering why the 3 bromo is preceding the 2 methyl this is because we are obeying number four rule which says that we should obey alphabetical order so b comes before m in 
our alphabet. So that's why we are putting three bromo D for two meter. Let's quickly look at another example. All right, guys. So we have another example over here. We are asked to give the IUPAC name for the structure. So don't forget our number one rule. Look for the longest continuous chain. The longest continuous chain does not always have to be straight up like this. It can also be branch like it can also be one, two, three, four, five. It can be one, two, three, it can be one, two, three, four, five, and so on. As far as it is the longest and the chains are continuous. So our longest continuous chain over here would be five carbon atom which is spent so whenever you are having a longest continuous chain of five carbon atom you use the root name of fence so we're having pent there and since it is an arcane group how do you know arcane group arcane groups are always single bond so it is single bond or true it is an arcane group so we are having pentane now over to our branch and our subsequent branches we are having two branches here we are having two over here too and these are all metal group so first of all what we have to do is to number is to number over here uh, let's number this will be carbon one this coming so this will be carbon one this will be carbon two. This will be carbon three. This will be carbon four. This will be carbon five. So exactly what we said, we have pent over there and it is pentane. So next over here, we have a subsequent branch attached to carbon two and attached to carbon four in a similar way where we are seeing two metal groups attached to them not a big deal what we are doing here is we'll be putting our number in first which is two so we'll be having two two since it's two metal group we'll be having two two die metal and four four die metal when you combine them together you'll be having four right so you are going to name it as two two four four representing the four subsequent subsequent branch that you have here so it will be two two four four tetra metai pentin so here is our are you pack name for this compound so it will be two two four four tetra metai pentin because at each subsequent carbon we have a branch we are having two branches there which is two and two here making four giving us the name tetra over here